Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fast Electronic and Loud. Wanted to give you a, a look at the new revamped uh, gaming setup. I know I recently posted a new video. However, we've added a new Sanus tilting wall mount. So I wanted to just kind of give you a preview now of the new gaming and home theater setup, kind of the remix, and just some of the components, how I have them hooked up, and just some things like that. So just starting off, just want to go over it again. Uh, I've got to actually here a Polk uh, monitor, 50 series tower, a couple of 3D glasses there. Uh, Apple time capsule, that's the 2 terabyte. We have the Apple TV. Uh, Polk audio center channel, connect center, sensor. A few 3D Blu-rays, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for Xbox, the hardened edition. A couple more 3D glasses. We have the other monitor, 50, the right side for the tower. And then down there I have the Polk 10-inch uh, powered subwoofer. Down there I've got the uh, Xbox Connect 250 gig. I've got the Western Digital Live Hub that's on top, the one terabyte. That's just the empty box of the uh, for the four pair of the 3D glasses. Under that's the Samsung BD F7500 Blu-ray. Uh, that's a Monster Power Center 1800 HDP 1800. That's uh, so you can provide nice, clean, stable power. Below that's the Direct TVR HR24. That's the whole home DVR box. Next to that is the Yamaha HTR5063. That's a 7.1 receiver. HDMI switching, 3D, uh, the whole works. And that is another Monster HDP1800 power center. I have two of those just because those are uh, actually eight outlet units. So, I wanted to be able to uh, have enough power for what I need. So, like I said, WDTV Live, the Samsung BDF7500 3D Blu ray player, another Monster Power Center HDP1800, the DirecTV HR24, and the Xbox 360 250 gig with Connect. So, like we said, there was the Apple Time Capsule, Apple TV. On the wall, we now have the Samsung 60-inch uh, LED. It's the UN60 F7100. That is 240 Hz 3D TV. Uh, we actually have that on the Sanus uh, tilting wall mount. And you can actually see that on my channel. I've got a video of that, and I'll put a link in the description below. So this is just some direct TV programming. I have a rental, so unfortunately, Putting uh, the mount up, I was like, I'll do that. However, uh, doing some in-wall boxes to hide my wiring, unfortunately, is not an option. So I'm going to probably just add a piece of wire mold for the time being. But nonetheless, still looks very uh, clean there. And just here, I've got uh, my remotes, what I use, actually. Um, like I talked about before, I don't really interested in the Harmony one. I'd like having my separate rem remotes. From left to right, that's the Samsung remote for the Blu-ray. We've got the Apple TV remote, the Western Digital TV Live Hub, one terabyte remote. That's the Yamaha for the receiver, the HCR5063 receiver. The Direct TV remote, uh, that's for the Samsung 7100 series, that's for the TV. And we got a uh, black Xbox controller, standard uh, headset on there. I don't really use the headset a lot, sometimes I will. So let's go ahead and uh, take a second here and we'll flip through some of these sources here. We'll show you what we've got. Uh, currently set up right now, I've got uh, DirecTV is playing right now. So we'll go ahead and switch to some of these different sources. So with the DirecTV on, I have, uh, that's a four input HDMI, one HDMI out. So I actually have my Xbox 360 uh, on HDMI 2 for the television. And then I use an optical out from the Xbox to the receiver, that way I get the best sound, uh, make use of my options that I have there. So, uh, go ahead and take the uh, Samsung remote here. We'll go ahead and, uh, let's say for example, switch over to uh, HDMI 2, which happens to be where the Xbox 360 is plugged in. So, you can see here we've got Xbox 360 going. I'll take the receiver remote, which I've set to AV4, which is where the optical in. And now I have full game sound on my receiver. 
so I've got actually uh, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2, that's what I play a lot of uh, currently in the console there. So I can go ahead and actually uh, switch my receiver. Let's say back to, let's go back to, you know, television if we want. So bring our remote here and I can go over to HDMI 1. For the Yamaha, which is DirecTV, the same difference. Okay, so let's take for example, well, maybe we want to watch maybe a movie on Apple TV. So I can hit HDMI 3 on my Yamaha and instantly jump over into Apple TV. And here's movies, and you know, and you guys have seen the interface for Apple TV. So maybe there's a movie I've stored on my Western Digital TV Live Hub, and I'd like to visit that. So I can actually just jump over on the Yamaha again to HDMI 4, and now I can actually be at the Western Digital TV Live 1 terabyte hub, you know, where I have some movies there stored locally as well as to share drives. So maybe it's, uh, it's decided we're going to do Blu-ray. So we can hit HDMI 1 on the receiver. Now we can jump right in over to a Blu-ray. We can go ahead and grab our 3D glasses, take a peek at what movie we're going to do, and then we can sit back and enjoy our 3D film, if that's what we're going to watch, or standard Blu-ray, whichever you so desire. You know, that's kind of, uh, you know, we have the uh, Apple TV is one of the sources. We have the Blu-ray as a source. We have the TV itself as a source. We have the Western Digital TV Live as a source, you know, as well as the Xbox. So flipping back through, we're on the Blu-ray here. We can go back to DirecTV, all using a, the Yamaha receiver or any other HDMI switching receiver will do this. We can jump back over to HDMI 3 for, of course, Apple TV, if you want to do that. We can jump back over to Western Digital TV Live without a problem. So it's kind of a nice, sweet setup here. Switch back to AV4. Come up, flip my source on my Samsung over to HDMI 2 because I'm actually going to do some gaming and I'm actually going to do some uh, capture and get that uploaded. We're actually doing uh, two channels, so make sure you check out our new one, Fast Electronic and Loud. 2.0 gaming edition. It's actually uh, more for my son, but actually I do uh, some work on that as well. So just wanted to give you guys a, a preview here of the new uh, revamped uh, gaming setup here. We showed you the, the tower speakers, the receiver, the Blu-ray, the 3D glasses, the time capsule, the 60 inch Samsung LED TV, the powered subwoofer. So let me take just a minute here take a minute and just review this again you know with the tower the time capsule the Apple TV the center channel we have the connect sensor there that's actually the IR remote right there for the Samsung remote for the television a couple blu-ray titles 3d some glasses the black ops 2 hardened edition the other front tower we have the powered subwoofer a lot of people express comments that my Xbox overheats it doesn't get breathing room well, folks, it's wide open down there, and it's actually extremely cooler uh, down low. So uh, the air vent's wide open. I've uh, taken careful planning consideration into that. And you can see my components stacked down there across the front. So, and then coming over here, like I said, I have the Santa's mount. Uh, it does have a 15-degree tilt, and I have it do slightly tilted. You can see the cable's all there. have everything detailed coming off the back and put together there. So kind of a nice touch. Like I said, this is a rental, so I have to deal with these cables coming across. However, this is where my rear fill is. I have the rear and back, as well as on the other side, I have the rear and the back. So, we talked about the remotes that we used for that. We have the Samsung remote, the DirecTV remote, Yamaha, Western Digital Live, Apple TV, and the Blu-ray. A lot of people said, whoa, you should combine those to a Harmony. I don't like the Harmony. I, all you, the options within the Harmony, you still have to access page by page to get to it. Sometimes it's just easier to grab the remote. Sometimes I have these out. Sometimes I have them in the drawer right below it. So, hope you guys have enjoyed uh, Fast Electronic and Loud's uh, new revised revamped gaming setup with the 60-inch LED that you saw before in the first video, except now we have it wall-mounted. Uh, definitely did a lot for the room.
uh, it actually added space because now we don't have the stand up here we can bring the center channel up uh, have a few items up there and it just makes the room uh, just a little bit larger so you know sitting back here in the gaming section basically on the couch here uh, this is kind of just the view I have uh, kicking off to play so I'm kind of pretty excited about it uh, appreciate everyone's support we recently went over about 315 subscribers we currently have a 250 subscriber giveaway out there so make sure you check that out on our channel so as always it's brought to you by fast electronic and loud where we always bring it to you fast electronic and of course loud thanks for watching please subscribe